Clippers guard Chris Paul has a nasal fracture, suffered in a win last week in San Antonio. Now, Paul wasn't quite the force he can be in last night's loss to Golden State. And tonight, the Clippers hosted the Celtics. Boston meant business early. Inglewood native Paul Pierce hits from downtown for three of his game-high 25. Still first quarter in the Clippers, Chris Paul on the pick and roll with DeAndre Jordan, who throws up the baby hook and hits. Now, Randy Foy to Blake Griffin, the flop from Grant Steesma, so Griffin gets the bucket and foul. Griffin had a team-high 24, but unfortunately, the Clippers couldn't make enough stops and suffered their second straight home loss as they went down to the Celtics, 94 to 85. The Bakersfield College softball team is on a roll, having won 10 consecutive contests. Tomorrow, the unstoppable force meets the immovable object. The Renegades have their work cut out for them tomorrow when they host Western State Conference Folk College of the Canyons in an early season huge doubleheader. Canyons is 17-0, so the importance of the twin build looms a little larger than normal. One thing is definitely clear. At least one winning streak will go up in flames. Well, you know, I think we're really confident. Uh, obviously, when you win 10 in a row, you start feeling pretty good. But, uh, you know, College of the Canyons has their own win streak. They're 17-0. and 0. And right now, our conference is the number one winning percentage conference in Southern California. So we're really excited that our conference has got some parity, and uh, it's going to be a battle. And the Renegades host College of the Canyons in a big early season showdown. Let's play two with the opener's first pitch at 2.30. Jared Weaver on the mound as the Angels hosted the Dodgers in spring action. Dodgers up 1-0 in the top of the first when Ron Rivera hits this ball inside the bag and down the right field line. Two-run score on Rivera's double to make it 3-0 Dodgers. Same score in the bottom half of the inning when the Angels' Albert Pujols hits his soft liner to right center, but the Dodgers' man kept makes a nice running grab. Pujols finished 0-3 on the day, and the Dodgers routed the Angels with a 9-1 win. And he's back. The San Francisco 49ers and receiver Randy Moss have agreed to terms on a one-year deal, according to a league source. Moss worked out for the 49ers today and could help fill a huge void for a team whose receivers managed just one catch in the team's 2017 overtime loss in the NFC title game to the eventual Super Bowl champion New York Giants. The 35-year-old announced last month he was ending his one-year retirement from the NFL. Now, yesterday, the Cal State men's basketball team received great news when it accepted a postseason bid to the CollegeInsiders.com tournament, which begins tomorrow night. Head coach Rod Barnes' squad began preparations today for the 32-team tournament and will hit the road to take on Utah State Wednesday night. The Roadrunners are on a three-game winning streak and looking forward to the challenge of adding to their victory total. Well, I think it's great, uh, especially in Coach Rod Barnes' first season. Uh, quite a turnaround. Uh, all the evidence in terms of RPI and win-loss, uh, but to culminate in a, in a postseason tournament uh, appearance is, is truly uh, noteworthy. And the Roadrunners will take on the Aggies in Logan Wednesday night in a 7 o'clock tip-off. Good for them. Great season this mm -hmm. year, 16 wins, 10 all of last season. Rod Barnes definitely has that program on the upswing, and it's good to have yeah. postseason play. Now you get extra practices. Yes. All right. Thanks, Preston.